Okay, good morning everybody. My name is Donovan Sadiq. I'm the Inland Empire Informer. Thank you guys that watched the video yesterday in regards to new candidate in District 2. His name is Leroy Holt, a longtime resident here in Myrtle Valley. Um, if you watched my video, um, I said I would do my homework on this guy and just do a little background check. And after my video dropped, of course, the Highland Fairview Edowitz came out of the woodworks because what it is is they do not want you to know who is backing this candidate. And with our WLC wars the last four to six years and the recent golf course controversy and, you know, on and on and on, uh, Mr. Holt was nowhere to be seen. And in my opinion, he is being put in there to split that vote so that a Highland Fairview candidate can take that seat. Uh, I said after the WLC wars were over that Ito isn't going away. This isn't a done deal, the EIR, all these things. Never underestimate a person that is being uh, financed by the Trump brothers down in Florida. There is a bigger agenda going on here in the Inland Empire, uh, especially in the Moreno Valley area with all the corruption. It's just so sad that people are willing to take money over their community. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm saying. You know, I'm just sour grapes and all this other stuff, right? Think of all of the politicians that, uh, I'll give you a good example, Mayor Tom Owings, uh, former Mayor uh, Molina. Where are these people? They get their money, they do their damage, and then they skedaddle out of town. I, I think Molina's still here. I'm not exactly sure, but we haven't heard from him, even though he said he'll be there every day to hold Edo to his word. And he's a good man, don't get me wrong, but it's just so sad that people are willing to take the money. So now, um, I don't understand why these candidates, especially Highland Fairview candidates, are going to uh, get candidates and not put me in the equation of so somebody to contend with. No, yeah, you're right, I don't have a following, this, this, that, I'm not influential, but yet, Hundreds of people watch my videos and see what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not in District 2. I have no dog in the fight in District 2. But I do think it's important that you guys need to know who this person is and who is financing him. So, uh, once again, this guy named is Leroy Holt. Uh, he played football. Now, I'm going to uh, show you a short video and you tell me the difference between the people in the video and Mr. Leroy Holt, because for some reason, people think that because you play sports, that gives you a, um, you know, a pass to be a leader. You know, I, 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 I don't get it, but, you know, but who am I? I'm just the Inland Empire informant. I'm just a guy with that's sour grapes. But let's see, if you lived in Edgemont, I think you'd have sour grapes too. So uh, check out the video and tell me what you think. Let me tell you something. I served my country. I played high school football. Four touchdowns in one game. Yet I'm not exempt from state and federal taxes. Now, is this any way America should treat its heroes? Now, you just flashed that badge of some registered voter, buddy. We're Bundys. We hate cops.
I'm an ex-football player. 